Greetings, viewers, and welcome to another episode of The Collection Crib. I am your host, Tyler Cloud. Today, we're going to be looking at my second part of my Disney's Hercules Collection. What can I say? Hercules is the strongest man alive. New from the Disney movie Hercules. Hercules, strongest man alive. Your Hercules. Prove yourself and save the world from Hades. With sword, with axe, with tribal, defeat the evil Nessus. And with Pegasus, crush the monster Cyclops. Oh, extraordinary, legendary. Hercules. Hercules, strongest man alive. Hercules figures, each sold separately. I remember watching those commercials as a kid, and I always thought they were saying, Hercules is the strongest man of mine. <laughs> Ugh, weird, weird. But anyway, Hercules was just amazing, and the movie itself was phenomenal. The toys are just full of memories. And recently, my brother got me the Rock Titan and the Ice Titan, and we made a little trade, and I couldn't have been more happier. It was just amazing to finally get the Ice Titan, who I really liked, and the Rock Titan, who is definitely um, definitely an iconic uh, face of the uh, of the movie, but the Nessus, oh my goodness, I had that when I was a kid, and just to f actually get it in the box was just with the KB Toys uh, price sticker still intact with its March 1998 date. My goodness, I remember that month. And if I'm wrong, I think the tape came out in February of 1998, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, those are two great months. February and March of 98. Whew, great times, great times. But yeah, I, really quickly before I get to the figures and all that, the Hercules tape I have is still in very phenomenal condition. Doesn't have any of that moldy or white crap in it. All the way rewind. Overnight rental. <laughs> I don't know where this was from. I don't, I, it's clearly not Blockbuster. So if anybody knows that kind of sticker from the late 90s or whatever, let me know in the comments below but i just love hercules and you know disney plus you can watch it and all that but just to have one of the tapes from that disney era the uh masterpiece collection era mm, memories memories good stuff so now let's get to the part two of my collection we're gonna start with the dolls the dolls i got of course when the movie came out they were released in disney world when i went there you know Cake Castle and everything. And these guys were just a lot of fun. As you can tell, there was just a lot of, you know, use of them. Just like, you know, smacking them around and having them fight and all that. <laughs> but my brothers and I, we would have so much fun with these. I believe they came in like L-shaped containers. Um, I think it's like a picture. Yeah, here's a picture right here. They were like in these containers. And I wish I kept them, but hey, you know, kids, you don't know any better. But yeah, these guys are phenomenal. Here is Payne. He's got his, like, his little uh, purple wings. I almost said pink. <laughs> he's got his little purple wings. And he's got his horns. Just like a scary expression on his face. Just brrrr. <laughs> he's got a little uh, uh, blue sandals there. His old tag. Of course, from Mattel. Really, really cool. We got Phil. Can't really stand him up. Actually, well, I'm not going to move the camera. I think I'll be all right. Just kind of give them a look-see. Their heads are, of course, plastic, and their bodies are the cotton part. Really, really cool. Big red nose. Got his horns there, his orange um, orange beard. Little, little tail there. <laughs> really cool. And the other two are Panic and Pegasus. We'll start with... Uh, Panic, who, like I said, I loved as a kid. This was my favorite of the uh, of the four at the time. You can put your finger in the hole there. Ha, ha, ha. And you can kind of make his neck and head kind of, you know, move around. It's kind of cool. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> really cool. Of course, he's got little small wings, too. I think in the movie, I believe they were bigger than Pain's. But this little... uh. Little goblin looking creatures. I forget what they are. If you know what specifically what these guys are, leave a comment down below. I forget what they what they are. Like little demons, I guess. Little uh, little I guess they're I guess they're demons. Hmm. Let's see, I'm gonna put these guys over here. And here's Pegasus. Pegasus, 
you know, all of these guys have survived throughout the years as long as well as uh, Hades and the Cyclops. So <laughs> it's just really cool that I still have these guys and, you know, a pretty good condition despite Pegasus still kind of, you know, losing color a little bit, but it's okay. So cute. <laughs> all right. So now let's move on to the main attraction and that is the three that are in the packages. And no, I will not take them out. They're just so cool. And I don't really save toys in the packages that often. Like, mostly I just take them out and display them and whatnot. But I don't know. I just have, like, a real personal connection with these. Like, when I first went to Disney World, this was this was the movie at the time. This was what was out. And it just, you know, it just holds a lot of memories to me. So... Like, this one had the Hercules from the uh, first part, you know, with the uh, the bladed shield. and But the Nessus, he was awesome. An amazing figure. And I had the Nessus as a, as a kid, but I lost it. So, it's unfortunate. If I ever find loose figures of these toys, I will definitely make another episode. But until then, it's just phenomenal to have these in the package, nicely stored and shelved and... Looking awesome as ever. And I know the toys are begging one day to be released, but... <laughs> Maybe someday. I'm actually going to put the Nessus down here. Just so I can put the ice one there. Okay. Plush toys, I'm going to move you just for now. Give a little space here. And something I forgot to uh, kind of mention on the first episode. I had the Pegasus... And Hercules toy, and unfortunately, you know, I didn't keep them in the box. But the Hercules was not the one that came with Pegasus. The, the Hercules that I had, I believe, was just by himself. The Hercules that comes with Pegasus is not in my collection. That was kind of a, you know, a mess up from the first part. But it's still kind of a cool figure. He's got, a, like, blue armor on. He's got, like, an axe or double-bladed axe. And the shield is like the traditional god logo. But yeah, it's a shame that the, the Hercules that came with Pegasus, uh, I didn't, um, it didn't come with that. But the Hercules, it's so weird though, because I remember the Hercules was in this box. So whoever owned this previously obviously put in the wrong Hercules. <laughs> so I just wanted to kind of address that. I just, I realized that when I was setting up for the next, uh, part for you know another time and i was like oh wait a minute that's not the right hercules but you know slight little mess up but no big deal um but yeah kind of the same from the uh, the first episode all of the uh, traditional characters are there and uh, the hydra slaying hercules is one of my favorites i gotta find that one that one i do not own i used to lost to time goodness gracious why didn't i be wiser when i was a kid and hold all my toys and Hydra, like I said in the first one, that one is the Holy Grail. i got to find that in the box. Oh, that would be so hard to find. <laughs> so let me put the uh, Pegasus box down. And now let us get to the other two. And that is the Titans. First is the Rock one. Now this Hercules toy is really cool. I love the blue. I love his expression, of course. Just ready for battle. And um, the Rock... The Rock Titan has lost his head. <laughs> it's in the package. It's just rolling around in there. <laughs> yeah, it, it would reach, it would uh, it would go right here. But the Rock Titan looks awesome. I don't really understand the uh, the orange color. It might it's a little little bright. There we go. I'm gonna try to not make it so glary. But yeah, he's got like orange color on his head, and it really should just be like all brown or black. Really cool Rock uh, Titan. And he's just really, really monstrous. And um, I think he had like three heads in the movie. I could be wrong. Two heads, three heads. I don't know. <laughs> what is he? The Ghidra of Titans and Hercules? But phenomenal Hercules figure. And like the, the back, kind of the same thing. But yeah, really cool. The Titan was way bigger than that. <laughs> and now we are going to cover the one toy that I have wanted for so long, and thanks to my brother, I was able to get it. The Ice Titan. The lovely Ice Titan. He is just so phenomenally cool. And my brother actually has two uh, loose figures of the Rock Titan and the Ice Titan. The Ice Titan feels like very, like... Remember Chaos? If you remember the uh, Sonic episode, 
that had Chaos and Sonic figures, it kind of has that feel, like that, uh, like that soft, plasticky, like Jello kind of feel. Really hard to explain, but really, really cool, and it just looks terrifying. He can freeze you, and you know he would give Mister Freeze a run for his money. <laughs> And of course, this Hercules, kind of a traditional one, nothing really special about him. He's got his cape, comes with sword and shield, um, you know, just kind of like a typical Hercules ready for battle. And like I said, if I ever find loose figures of the Ice Titan, you know, if anything, like I will definitely make another episode because, you know, in spite loving these toys, I just can't bear my heart to open them because I mean, come on, look, first of all, you got KB Toys that I mentioned earlier, and it still has like its price tag. It used to be sixteen bucks, and then they lowered it to four ninety nine in March of nineteen ninety eight. That's hilarious. <laughs> and now these toys are worth like forty, fifty, even a hundred bucks online. So it's just crazy, like how far toys have come from almost thirty years ago to now. Like if there's a fan service, they will bring them back. I think it'd be cool if Hercules made like a retro comeback, kind of like Ninja Turtles or, you know, something like that. Because I love these toys. They were cool. And as a boy who liked Disney, you didn't really have many options. And, uh, oh yeah, if I didn't, uh, I didn't forget, I don't think this was uh, Mattel. I don't think this came out the same time as everything else did. But I found this at Goodwill and I just thought it was cute. Here is this little plush of baby Pegasus. Not much to say, just something to, you know, squeeze and hold and, you know, love. <laughs> Adorable little guy. Just uh just waiting for Hercu waiting for Hercules to come and cuddle with him. <laughs> so adorable. He's got like his little blue mohawk there. Really, really cool. So adorable. <laughs> really cool. See you, Pegasus. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to see if I can bring in every toy for the final shot of my entire Hercules collection. Well, I mean, I think that's the best I can do. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you all for watching this episode of The Collection Crib. Please, um, you know, like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Keep watching more of my episodes as well as my past episodes. There's going to be a lot more great content to come. We've got the uh, Titanic Adventure Out of Time uh, episode to come, as well as more Mega Constructs. And um, i got to get some Power Rangers and Star Wars going on. So ladies and gentlemen, until then, thank you all for watching this episode of The Collection Crib, and I will see you all next time. Ordinary, legendary, Hercules, Hercules, strongest man alive.